Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can change the appearance of bullets and numbers that you apply. Word allows you to create your own custom library of bullets and numbering. Custom bullets and numbering that you create will then appear in the drop down menus of their respective buttons. That way you can create them once and then reuse them as often as needed. If you want to create a custom bullet, simply click the drop down arrow that appears next to the bullets button in the paragraph group on the home tab of the ribbon. Then click the define new bullet command from the drop down menu in order to open the define new bullet dialog box. This dialog box allows you to define the appearance of your new bullet. At the top of the dialog box in the bullet character section are three buttons that allow you to choose the icon that will be used for your bullet. Symbol, picture, and font. If you want to create a bullet based on an available symbol, then click the symbol button in order to open the symbol dialog box. This dialog box will default to displaying the content of the symbol font. However, note that you can use the font drop down that appears at the top of this dialog box to choose another font if desired. For example, the Webdings or the Wingdings fonts also have many fun and useful bullet characters that you can use. Now once you have the font selected, just click on the symbol within the font that you wish to use as the bullet icon. Then click the OK button to return to the Define New Bullet dialog box. Now if you wanted to use a picture for a bullet versus using a font character, then you can click the Picture button in order to open the Picture Bullet dialog box. Here you can scroll through the listing of available bullets until you find one that you like. Then you can click on it to select it and then click the OK button to return to the Define New Bullet dialog box. Now if you elected to use a symbol for your bullet icon, then you will be able to click the Font button to open the Font dialog box. This dialog box allows you to modify the appearance of the selected font symbol. Now when you finish modifying the bullet's appearance, click the OK button to return to the Define New Bullet dialog box. The final step is then to choose an alignment for the selected bullet from the Alignment drop-down. Review the appearance of the bullet in the Preview section, and then click the OK button to finish defining the new bullet. You can also create your own numbering if desired. The process is very similar to the one used to define new bullets. You simply click the drop down arrow next to the numbering button in the paragraph group on the home tab of the ribbon. Then select the define new number format command from the drop down menu in order to open the define new number format dialog box. First select the general style of numbering to use from the number style drop down. Then click the font button to open the font dialog box. As with symbol bullets, you use the dialog box to select a font to use and set other formatting features that you want the numbering to possess. Once you're finished, click the OK button to return to the Define New Number Format dialog box. You can add additional characters that follow your selected numbering format in the Number Format text box. For example, you could replace the default period with a hyphen if desired. Then choose the alignment that you want to apply to the numbering from the Alignment drop-down. You should see how your numbering will appear in the window in the preview section. So when you have your numbering set as you would like it to appear, just click the OK button to finish creating your own custom numbering.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.